I have a beautiful deck, I have a beautiful backyard, but I do nothing with it. And Natalie said, Catherine, we need a makeover of your backyard. We spend so much time out here, us with our husbands on Friday nights having cocktails, having dinner parties while the kids jump on the trampoline and in the play structure. But as you can see, and I don't mean to be mean. No, no, you told me my arms were soft, my backyard's drunk, but go ahead. This just has no character. It's, it's, it's got great potential to be an amazing um, other outdoor space, but it's really just got no character yet. So we have the famous Lisa Canning, interior designer, to come and spruce things up. Lisa is... A mom to five and point five. She's having six kids. And she still looks fabulous. She still has fabulous style. And she said, girl, your backyard's junk. It's like Let's junk. <laughs> She's like, I never girl, said that. You junk back here. I, <laughs> I love how I know. I say, girl. Girl. That's what I always say. She actually never said that. She was like, it's great. Can I fix it up? I said, yes. Lisa, what, what are you going to do here? We're going to add pops of color. When you have the bones like this that are already very contemporary, you know, all those major pieces, you just need the color and you need the pattern. And while you're going through, we would love some ideas of what else we could add. Like, do you recommend a carpet? Do you re like do you like outdoor carpets? Should I be doing a fireplace? Would you do like a hanging umbrella? I want your thoughts. I can't wait to sit back and watch the magic happen with my Le tequila. Lisa's is uh, not tequila. Mm, it is, is sober. I mean, dry pink. pink. Let's get to work. Cheers. <laughs> so what I did was when I went to the retailer, I found something with pattern. So what I always do when I start a decor scheme is pick my actual palette out of the pattern print that I have liked. So I found this one, it's got this really pretty coral, it's got this teal and it's got this yellow. So I brought in a lot of the teal and a lot of the coral to keep a cohesive pattern palette and um, add a little bit of punch to this lovely little backyard. So pillows are honestly one of the easiest ways to add a bit of pop and a bit of color in an indoor or an outdoor setting. Um, and just because they're, they're inexpensive and they're very interchangeable. So for example, if we wanted to do more of a fall look Perhaps we could take out this one and do something with a bit more texture, maybe something um, like faux sheepskin or that kind of thing. Uh, but for summer, you could bring in more of the yellow if you wanted to and just keep it really fun and really lively. So pillows for me are honestly like, I love pillows. I'm kind of obsessed with them because they're just so easy and accessible and interchangeable. These you'd probably want to bring in when it rains and of course you could use this inside as well. But this is where it gets fun and this is where I think the designer kind of eye comes in when you're mixing a pattern. So we, here we have a floral, very organic pattern and then I'm putting it with a stripe. But again, the key, this is not that complicated. All I did was to look for something that had similar colors to the pillow. People are using uh, things like this for towels, blankets. Yes. Yep. Oh. I love that. You're fancy with your towels. you fancy with your towel self. I love the, wow, what the two difference. different blankets. Yeah, I mean, and that's the other thing. Like, I, while I love coordinating, I wouldn't say I'm a fan of matching. I think the more textures and patterns you can incorporate into a space, the better. Um, certainly, it sometimes takes a bit of an expert eye, but honestly, the way you make sure that you don't fail is if you have a cohesive color scheme. You know what else I love about the blankets is that in the evenings in this city, it can become pretty mosquito-y yes. and cool. And if you can wrap up, then maybe you might just be able to extend your romantic little cocktail hour with your husband. Or that with, might lead to something exciting. Or, oh. with, or with Natalie. <laughs> Or with my wife, that, that sort of, because really we're trying to find ways always to stay together. Now I can keep her longer for a blanket. <laughs> what about a carpet? What do you think about that? Okay, so I was, I typically like carpets. Yes. With children, I'll be honest, and I have five of them, so I know from experience, I just find they become a bit of a nuisance. Okay, like that, I like they that ripple, honesty. They ripple, you spill stuff on them, you have to clean it. So I actually just prefer to keep it. We love the honesty, Lisa Canning, because we don't get it often. So the pop is really important. Like I, it, it, just for example. So yeah. here we have like, yeah, kind of okay. Like we're at the beginning of a really yes. gorgeous palette, but then as soon as we add this really dynamic pop, it's a lot more fun, it's more useful. Yeah. The other thing I would say is more is always better. So for example, I did this in legit real time. Yeah. So I pulled extra. And then when you come home, you edit. If you shop at a retailer that has a great return policy, then you kind of just go back later on, right? Tray is really essential for me for entertaining because it keeps a little bit of a visual, um, you know, color pop as well as a grounding element. So even down to the final details, like certainly I could have just gone out and got that clear plastic outdoor. I actually Plus, love these cups. Me these too. Are Those are They're perfect a for a cocktail. Blue. Three ninety nine. And then picks up on the teal that I chose to select from the pillows. And now you're ready for a fun little 
evening with Natalie or <laughs> or Natalie <laughs> and Catherine. You guys, Lisa got this all uh, at a store that is returnable, but I think we're gonna keep it all because does it not look so much yeah. better? You're done in seven minutes. Seven it, minutes. Like, it looks so pulled together. Literally this took us, what, maybe seven minutes? With and chatting. With chatting. <laughs> so honestly, outdoor, outdoor decor especially does not have to be difficult or complicated. Um, and it really just starts with a great pattern that you can build your color scheme from.